It's all good. We know your records. We know who you are. Don't try to rip people's fucking arms and heads off. And don't grab legs. No heel hooks, no leg locks. If you get a submission, we know you got it. We know you got to let it go. Just have fun with this. Relax. Don't get fucking crazy, ladies. And just have fun, right? Fang for MMA Fight Corner with the Lightburger twins, Jocelyn and Jillian, who are both trying out here for the Ultimate Fighter Season 20, fighting out of the MMA lab and representing well. How excited are you both for this moment? Um, I'm, I'm pretty excited, and I know she feels the same way. <laughs> okay, yeah. and Jocelyn and Jillian, yes. right? Just so everybody here knows. <laughs> okay. I had a hard time telling you both prior, so I had no idea. I'm like, how, how? <laughs> well, we usually let everybody know by the gap. I have the I have a big gap. She doesn't. So. <laughs> now, what do you find to be the most thrilling part about it? Is it making history here, being on the first all-women season, or is it more about the long-term plan here where if you win this year you get a belt yeah I think it's I think it's both you know just to come out here and see how many women are here at the 115 division I came last year and I can't believe it's already been a year um, but just to see 33 women out here for the 115 weight class we all thought it would be longer before they even introduced another weight class to the UFC right. and all the girls in here everybody feels the same this is your ultimate goal is to get into the UFC and you know on the athletic level and the professional level and um, I, I feel pretty good and excited for the whole journey, the whole experience. So, And luckily, it's not a far drive at all. But what do you get out of your experiences training at the lab, Jillian? Um, well, I just moved back there. I got to train there uh, for a little bit. Now I uh, train at Title Boxing Club, and then I train at the lab one day a week. Um, being an identical twin is really difficult since we do everything the same. Um, when you work at the same place, since we do have the same exact job title, and you train at the same place, you spend a lot of time together. So it gets kind of tough on our relationship. It's, what do we want more, personal relationship or that fighting relationship? So I'm not there full time like her, but um, it is nice when I do get to go there. Now, let's say hypothetically you both make the show. What would it be like to have that support, to have a sibling on the show and to be able to gun for it together? Um, I think Jocelyn and I, we bring out the best in each other as far as training. We push each other harder. We have somebody that looks just like you, talks just like you, does the same hairstyle. You want to be better um, than that person. So I think we push each other. And I think it would be nice if we both get in the house because it is tough to be away from friends and family. And uh, we miss each other the most, most when we're away from each other. Would you add to that also? Yeah, I mean, it would be exciting. I mean, a lot of people have asked us, would we fight each other? Yeah, the, both the answer is yes, we would. You know, we're both professional athletes, and we want we both want the same goal. And when we're competing at the same weight class, I mean, it's, it's bound to happen. Um, the two girls that are on my team that are trying out is uh, Heather, Heather Jo Clark and um, Chelsea Bailey. But I have a lot of other friends of mine that are here that are that I'm here to support. Um, Jocelyn and Jillian Lieberger, they're also great. Um, and so, yeah, I'm, I'm excited. I'm here and pumped. The energy is good. I can feel it, like a little bit of tensity, but everyone seems to also be like enjoying the moment. You know what I mean? There's eight spots open and a lot of really good girls here. So I think it's going to be a competitive day. And I'm telling all the ones that like I, I'm really rooting for, like you girls got to go after it. You got to get after it today. Today is just as important as, as it would be if it was fight day. And um, that's just kind of my advice to the girls, you know. And being that you've coached a season before and you've had this experience of watching these girls go for it, go for it all, and just really trying to grow the sport of women's MMA and put it on that massive level. What do you think a season like this does for it historically, just being the first season of all women? Well, historically, this is a huge moment. This is this this is as big as it gets. I mean, there's never been an all women's MM, yeah, an all women's show before, and not only that, but they're crowning a champion off of this because they're bringing in the absolute top of the top best women in 115 pound division but I'm really excited to see that there's there's also more to add to it after the show there's a lot of like said, really good girls that they might not necessarily make the show because there's just not enough room but they're they're good and they're going to be in the UFC so you know they're going to kind of get a taste of like the talent pool that's out there and you know it's just exciting it's a big moment tell us a little bit about heather heather um she should definitely make it on the show i mean she, she's got everything you know she's got the experience she's got a good record um you know she also fought felice herrig before and has a huge rivalry with her so it's like the it's like mine and ronda's rivalry but with her and felice and she fought felice to a split decision and she lost however pe most people don't know that she broke her arm halfway through the second round no she, i didn't know that she either. continued wow. fighting i mean her arm like 
like the yeah. film was like completely like done and she kept fighting the whole rest of that round and the third round and she only lost a split decision and you know Felice had her back and like couldn't finish her couldn't choke her and she only had one arm like she couldn't hand fight or anything so I mean that just is a testament to how mentally tough she is and she's one of the few 115ers with knockout power I mean I've seen her clean coal like knock a girl out and that, that doesn't happen a lot at the 115 pound division so it's she's, she's a great fighter trains with me every single day and very very dedicated to the sport so she has everything that I would say needs to be you know for someone selected on the show and Chelsea Bailey She's a newcomer. She's up and coming. She's only one to know as a pro, so she doesn't necessarily have as much experience. However, she is a college national wrestling champion, so she's amazing, and she's just as strong as any 135er I've ever trained with. It's actually really freaky that she's as small as she is and she's as strong as she is. I'm kind of like, dude, what the heck, you know? But she's just been a strong girl her whole life. Grew up riding horses, very outdoorsy, like fun-loving, busy girl, um, you know, but she's she's green, though. She's still a little learning, but she's, she's going to be a star one day. If she doesn't make it on this show, like, she will be in the UFC, mark my words. She's going to get a few more wins, and hopefully she makes it on there. You know, she's here today to show that she does belong, and, you know, 1-0 doesn't necessarily mean that, you know, she's she doesn't belong in here with all these rest of these girls. So I'm wishing them both, you know, the best I've of luck. I've been waiting for this my whole life. Yeah. yeah. Being in front of any of the UFC particular like matchmakers, I see Sean Shelby here. Is, is that nerve wracking to you at all? Um, you know, a little bit, but more exciting than anything. You know, it's really um, something I've been waiting for, like I said, my whole life. So it's just my chance to shine and to do what I love to do. And you're training now with a different camp, I understand. What brought on the change? Um, well, ri originally I came from uh, Greg Jackson Winkle John's camp, and I was there for four and a half years. Amazing, amazing gym. Um, and then I moved over to Syndicate, and uh, great, had some amazing uh, times with John Wood and coaching, and um, just some s different political reasons. I ended up moving over to Couture's. We have a, b a few more females um, my size to train with, so um, it just was a better fit. That's really it. Great. Yeah, and now I understand that you are trying to get on the show not just to be part of history, but because you have some uh, old business to finish up with Felice Herrig, who's already going to be part of the show, as we understand. Yeah, um, you know, we, we started off with a, a bit of a rivalry before we even fought. Um, I was trying to fight her back in XFC, and she kept saying, you're not going to make weight, blah, 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 even though I've never missed weight. Um, so it started off a little bit of bad blood there um, to where, you know, it pushed me in the way in And then uh, I broke my arm in the second round and continued to fight with a, a broken radius, which I do have um, a plate in my arm and six screws. So, um, you know, I, I want that rematch, and I want to uh, I want to really just give her what uh, what I started, you know, or rather finish what I started. <laughs> Heidi Fang for MMA Fight Corner here with Angela Hill, who is auditioning for The Ultimate Fighter Season 20, a historical first all-women season. Angela, you are psyched to be here, aren't you? I'm so psyched. Um, I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to make it because you need one fight to, to qualify. Right. And so I got that one fight on Saturday. Oh, wow. So, um, so yeah, it's been pretty hard for me to find fights. I've been trying to find a fight for the last, like, one and a half, two years. But um, because of my Muay Thai record, I've, I have, like, 16 fights I haven't lost, uh, uh, four KOs. So it's, like, it's been hard just because everybody knows about me. Um, but I finally was able to seal, seal in a fight with Stephanie Skinner, and I finished her in the second round on Saturday. So How'd yeah. you finish her? Was it a knockout? Yeah. <laughs> Um, unanswered knees. Uh, yeah, yeah, I had her against the cage, so that was cool. And that's where the Muay Thai fighters, they love to live. Yeah, exactly, exactly. I was able to show that I had a little bit of ground skills, too, there, so, so it was good. So you made the trek all the way out from North Carolina, as far as I understand, and you've trained all over from New York to even here in Las Vegas a little bit? A little bit. Like, um, I had uh, two fights in Vegas. I fought a line fight twice. Uh, one was my last amateur fight. I ended up knocking out uh, Miranda Kayabiab in the first round. And then the other one was uh, Fremont Street, my first pro Muay Thai fight. And uh, that was against Mon Monique Travis on the same card as Cyborg. So um, things have been, like, pretty exciting for me in the last year. So I'm excited to see, like, you know, how everything works out. If, if you can make it in there, I mean, what would that mean to you to have that title shot ahead? 
Oh man, I'd be a total underdog, but like I'm so up for the challenge. Like I know I can win, you know. And I think a lot of people who know me, who've seen me fight, they know that like my striking's serious, and they're gonna see how serious my ground game is too. Like I've been training in Asheville, getting my wrestling and just like my whole MMA package together. So um, yeah, I think people are gonna be really surprised when they see what I can do in the cage. Uh, it means everything. I mean, yeah, as you said, I traveled halfway across the world from Thailand. Um, although I'm originally from England. Um, but it, I mean, 28 hour flight, it's a long way to come for a two minute grappling and two minutes pad work. So it's, I'm going to have to leave everything there, leave everything on the mat. I actually live in Thailand. I've been there for two years. I've been training at Phuket Top Team. That's my gym. Um, while I'm in England, I train with a guy called Andy Roberts, who's a black belt. He's very good. Um, and then I've just been in syndicate for three days, four days while I've been here. So I've been here since Wednesday. So. Not so long. <laughs> What's the experience been like so far? Um, everyone's been so supportive that I almost feel that I'm going to make it just because of their support, you know? Um, just like, it's been incredible. It's been the best experience of my life. Um, I can't I can't even put it into words. It's unusual for me. <laughs> One of my best friends, Heather Clark, is trying out. And um, another new friend, uh, Helen Harper, is trying out too. And a lot of people I know, actually, um, from, you know, from around and it's really exciting to see them and support them and I, I wish they could all make it you know. Is it different for you being on the other side of things watching now from, uh, from the perspective of having gone through this experience yourself? Yeah it's, it's a pretty real it's pretty surreal for me to be here again and uh, I know all the staff and I'm giving hugs to the camera guys and you know it's it's I really enjoyed the experience myself so I'm I'm happy to be here. And what does it mean? I mean, you were part of the first season to have women on it, and now we have an all-female season. What does it mean to you for the growth of women's MMA? I mean, you've been around since the early days when it was barely a blip on the radar, and now it's come to be fully recognized by the UFC. What, what is that feeling like for you? I honestly never thought this would happen with an all-female cast. Um, it's, it's pretty uh, amazing and gratifying to know that, you know, we're getting recognition in the way that you know we had hoped for and um, I know it's only gonna get bigger and better and um, I can't wait. I'm glad the UFC opened it up to, to the records being 1-0 because as far as I remember it in the past you would have had to have three pro fights uh, uh, as far as experience goes to be able to do the audition so as far as you know are they just kind of opening it up across the board for just to get the women in at this level? I think they just don't want to put limitations on anything you know what I mean they want to see all the girls and I believe too that just just because there's only eight more spots available and there's over you know some 40 some odd girls here trying out for those last few spots even if the girls don't make it, you know, they're getting their foot in the door just by coming today and showing their face and putting on, you know, if, if it comes down to a record thing, that can that can be fixed easily. You know, they just need more time, you know, more more experience. And I believe that, that you know, a lot of these girls, even if they don't make it on the show, like I said, will be in the UFC at one point and will do well. So I'm, I'm glad that they didn't, like, limit it.